This is Elodie Holmes. We are really lucky here. Elodie is doing a show here in Philadelphia. She's from Santa Fe, New Mexico. And I've been carrying Elodie's work for, gosh, 30 years, I bet. Long time. Long time. So, Elodie, tell us about how you got started in glass and about some of your great signature pieces and some of your new work. Okay. Well, originally I started out doing ceramics. I was a potter. And I went to school at California College of Arts and Crafts in Oakland and learned glass blowing there and ended up doing a double major in glass and ceramics. So, um, then I moved to Santa Fe in 1981 to run a glass shop and I've been there ever since. And about 12 and a half years ago, I was able to build my own shop and expand my horizons a little bit, what I was making, and get more sculptural. But I continue doing, you know, vases, bowls, paperweights, and platters. Uh, um, I, I like them, and they, they sell really well. Uh, the figures came into my work about, I don't know, 20 some years ago. I incorporated those into my, my blown pieces and became known as my, my signature. And in the meantime, I was working with this uh, Calcedonia color. It's a silver-based uh, glass color that does, it's a heat-sensitive glass, so it, um, it likes to do, I like getting chemical reactions in my work because it's kind of painterly, you get more layers and variation in the color. And over the years, many, many years of working with it, I've, I've sort of tweaked it to do more of what I want it to do. And, and so from the vases, I, I, I wanted to come up with a more sculptural uh, form that would fit the color, too. So I, I came up with these Aurora sculptures. They're on their stands. And I do different color combinations with them. Sometimes I'll do a different color on the inside and the outside. Um, and I spin these out off center. That's how I get the sort of flattened look. You know, when you see it straight on, it looks like it might be in the round if you see it in a, in a on print. But they're really uh, almost two sided the way I the way I form them. So that's my latest and greatest thing that I've been doing. And uh, I enjoy what I do. I just love glass blowing. I, um, there's so many different things you can do with glass. I feel like if, if I had many lifetimes, I would love to spend it doing glass because there's so much you can do with it. And you do it so great. And it's so fabulous to see it all evolve and just come out yeah. so vibrant and happy and, yeah. and exciting, exciting, dynamic pieces. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, thanks a lot, Ellen. You're welcome.